2020 was a year like no other year, not because of the COVID situation, but because it was the year that I have to sit again for my ABIM recertification exam, which is the American Board of Internal Medicine Board exam. I remember I suddenly found myself having only six weeks to prepare for the exam, and I had the opportunity to postpone the exam for another year because of the COVID situation, of course. And I was about to do that, but then I was like, why? Let me just study for these six weeks, just get it done and get over it. And that's what I did. I did study for six weeks and this was the result. So how did I pass the exam by just studying for six weeks? That's what I want to share with you in this video today how to smartly prepare for the ABIM exam, the American Board of Internal Medicine exam. I have a few practical steps to tell you about. These steps should give you a clear guide in your exam preparation journey. Before we start, make sure to hit the subscribe button and to push the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our videos as soon as they are released. Let's start. First, how much time do I need to prepare for the exam? Preparing for the board exam is an ongoing process starting with your first day in internal medicine residency. In the first two years, work on improving your general internal medicine knowledge along with solving board style questions from time to time. Again, the goal of this kind of study is to improve your internal medicine knowledge and become a better internist. Now, during your last year of residency, your study style should shift to what we call exam-oriented study, which is different. Here you solely focusing on things that can help you rule in or rule out some answers, looking for clues and hints in the questions. And in this year, you should put more time solving board style questions. At minimum, make sure you have six months to do this kind of exam oriented study, especially if you are sitting for the exam for the first time. Don't leave it to the last three months and definitely don't do it like me by just studying for six weeks. So make sure to plan your time well and don't stress yourself with time. Second, what to study. Internal medicine textbooks are not for exam style study. Even mix-up books, believe it or not, are not good for exam oriented study. Mix-ups are great to build your internal medicine knowledge like in the first two years of residency. But once you switch to the exam oriented study, we are looking for two things to do. Please just do these two things and leave everything else. All you need is an intensive board review course and a board style question bank. I've tried two board review courses. One 10 years ago when I sat for my initial board certification exam. Back then I attended awesome board review. It was intensive six day board review course. In 2020 for my recertification, I did the AC the American College of Physicians board review course. The great thing about it this time that I have access to the videos. You don't have to go physically there. I could watch them anytime and again it was great and it immensely helped me pass my board exam or recertification exam. Based on my personal experience, I highly recommend one of these two courses, Awesome Board Review or the ACP Board Review. I cannot comment on other intensive board review courses simply because I don't have any personal experience with them, but they may be good or even better than these two courses I mentioned. Just ask your colleagues about their experiences. At the same time, you need to sign up for one internal medicine board question bank. Mixap question bank is great. You world also is excellent. I also tried the New England Journal of Medicine Knowledge Plus question bank called Knowledge Plus Review, but I found it's way inferior to Mixap or You world and I don't recommend it at this time. Again, these are the ones that I tried personally. I'm sure there are other great questions banked, so just ask around. To be clear, I have no sponsorship or anything to disclose with these courses or question banks. Again, you need one board review course and one question bank. Don't try to do more than one of each. This can greatly distract you and decrease your concentration. Third, repetition. Study the board material and repeat as many as you can. Study the board review course material at least twice, but the more you repeat, the more the information sticks in our mind. Also, do as many questions as you can. 
That's why having adequate time is very important to prepare for the board exam. Fourth, please carefully study the exam blueprint. Exam blueprint describes the weight of each topic in the exam, which I mean the number of questions in each specific topic. As you see this blueprint here, cardiovascular has 14%, GI 9%, ID 9%, some other topics has 6% and other less than that. So make sure to take a look at the most recent exam blueprint, pick the topics you should focus on the most and the topics you should pay little attention or skip them at all, especially if you are running out of time. Fifth, prepare well for the day of the exam. And this should start the day before the day of exam. In the day before the day of exam, you should do the following. Make sure you watch the exam tutorial, familiarize yourself with the look of the exam as this will save you time on the day of exam because you can skip the exam tutorial and use this tutorial time for your break times. Make sure to know how to mark a question and how to come back to it. Also, in the day before the exam day, put your exam day schedule. When and how many breaks you are going to take during the exam day. So don't leave it to randomness, plan this ahead. Now, during the exam day, please do the following. Always start by reading the last part of the question to know what they are asking about from the get-go. This can save you a lot of time and get you to the right answer very quick. Second, please don't get stuck on any questions. Mark it, leave it, and then come back to it. Please never leave any questions black. Even if you have no idea about the questions, Always pick an answer and don't leave it blank. Once you are done with the block, forget about it. Don't think about it at all, regardless if you did well or bad on that block. Just focus on the next block. At the end, I wish you all good luck. I'm very sure by following these tips I mentioned, you will be able to pass your board exam without any problem. If you find this video useful, please pass it to your friends and don't forget to give it a like and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.